Hey there, thanks for joining us. Be sure to watch this entire video as we guarantee it will be worth your time. Mark Dwayne here from markdwayne.com and this is my Content Gorilla AI review. So what is Content Gorilla AI? Content Gorilla AI is an upgraded version to a previous program called Content Gorilla. And Content Gorilla AI is a proven app that writes and rewrites unique and easy to read content by using artificial intelligence. And I'm going to give you an overview demo of Content Gorilla AI. And after the overview and demo that I do, I've got the demo by the vendor to show you what's new. And also I have the what's new video after that. So if you have any questions, and I missed something, I highly recommend that you watch the demo and the what's new video so you have the best understanding of this program. Then you can decide whether it's something that you're interested in. So we're on the dashboard. And the first place that I recommend that you start is you go down here and you go to the knowledge base. So I'm going to go to the knowledge base tab. So if you have any questions, here's where you'll have some answers. So before you submit a ticket, I recommend you take a look at the knowledge base. So now I'm going to go back to the dashboard. Okay, now we're back onto the dashboard. And up here we have some different options. This is where you can upgrade your account. But I always recommend that you go through the funnel because then you get access to the down cells. And over here is where you can download the plugin. Now this is a WordPress plugin. And if you're not familiar with WordPress, in my bonuses, I've got a training that teaches you how to do the basic tasks in WordPress, like install plugins, how to find a theme, how to customize your theme, and the different tasks in WordPress. So I recommend that you check that out if you're not familiar with WordPress. And we also have View Tray. And I'm not exactly sure what that is. I'll have to be honest with you. But how this works is you can uh, put a YouTube URL in here. It says video URL, but it's a YouTube URL. Um, and you can search by term. So I'm going to put a search term in here because I have a dog training channel called dogtrainingusa.net and a YouTube channel called Dog Training USA. So I'm going to put the term dog training in here. And you can search by relevance, most recent, or most viewed. Okay, I just want to point that out. I'm just going to keep it at relevance. And then you got license, any license or Creative Commons. Now, Creative Commons means it's fair use. You can reuse the uh, video. So I just want to point that out. You won't have copy protection problems with that. So anyway, so you, then you just push search. Okay, and then it comes up with these videos. And you can go to the next page by pushing this button here. In order to create a post, you just push the Create Post button. And you can add it to the tray. And I'm not sure what the Add to Tray is there again. So anyway, um, I'm just going to push Create Post. And this is the uh, content it came up with off that video. And you got some different tabs up here. Content, keyword, auto hyperlink. You put a keyword in here and then you put a hyperlink in here. Then you got featured image. It's where you can choose a featured image or you can change the image. It's where you can add some tags. Change the tags. Scrape the tags. This is this SEO section, keywords, syndication. You have to integrate it. It's not integrated because this is uh, review access and I don't have access to that. And this is where you can publish. And I'm not going to publish it because it's not hooked up to my, uh, to my blog. So anyway, I'm going to go back to content. I just wanted to point them uh, tabs out. You also got language up here. Um, you got different languages. You can change it into different languages, and you got all these different languages to choose from. So I want to point that out. There are a number of different languages. And you can also change any of this content. I want to point that out. And I'm going to come back to that 
uh, part. But anyway, you can save draft, copy to clipboard, or download content. So I wanted to point that out. So let's just say I want to change this to dog training basics, we'll just say. So I just wanted to show you that you could change that. And then you got down here, you got keyword settings. You also have create paragraphs, add punctuation, add images, and spin content. So I wanted to show you that. And here's what it came up with. And this is completely editable. You got a WYSIWYG editor here. Um, so anyway, if you want to do... Um, Add an image. Let's just say we want to add an image in here. Go to add images. And then it'll come up with all these dog training related images because of the keyword that we put in. So I'm just going to take this uh, image right here and then I'm going to scroll over here and put it right here. So I just wanted to show you that so you can add images on here. Um, I do recommend that you proofread this. See there, it's got two does in there. I have Grammarly, so it's pointing those out. And you want to space these uh, paragraphs right here. Needs a punctuation. So I just wanted to show you the basics on how this works. And you also got the correct grammar uh, button down here, so I can just push the correct grammar. And if I want to get rid of that images tab over here on the sidebar, I just put add images again. And when you're happy with it, you can either save it to draft, copy to clipboard, or download the content. So I want to point that out. So that's the basics behind this program. Um, so I'm going to go back to the dashboard. And then here's your sites. You can add your sites by pushing this button here. Um, I don't have my site added, so there's not going to be much in here. There again, I have review access, so other people's websites might be in here. Um, then you got a bulk post. You can do a bulk post. You're going to select a website. My website's not on here. This is where you do a bulk post. You're going to have to integrate to syndicate. So anyway, I want to show you that. It is going to take you a little bit of footwork to set some of this stuff up. Um, and you uh, draft posts. This is where your draft posts will be. Like I said, I've had, I have review access, so other people have been in here. Then you got the scheduler. You can schedule posts. You can add a new one by pushing that button up here. And then you got article rewriter, rewrite articles here, readability and uniqueness, you can mess around with that, get the right uh, tone that you're looking for, and then you got uh, post, post later, these are ones that you can post later, and then here's integrations. This is where you can integrate it with your Facebook, Twitter, or LinkedIn. Uh, post archive. There's different archived posts. There's quite a number of them. Other people have been in here there again. And then here's the settings. This is, you're going to need a YouTube API. So you're going to have to go to YouTube Council to get one. Different options on here. So I recommend that you uh, look at that uh, demo video and the other videos that I have behind this video to learn what some of this stuff is. Um, and then you got settings and you got calendar. You can uh, submit a post on a different day, different time. And then he's got a WordPress course here, but it's not a very long one. My training is much better than this. Um, I took a look at it, and it's only like two minutes long, and it wasn't very good. So I 
don't recommend. I mean, you can look at it, but I recommend that you look at uh, my training that I have in my bonuses because it goes into more detail on WordPress than this does. So you've got uh, users management in case you got other people that you want to be in here, like a uh, virtual assistant, the knowledge base, and then the support, and then you can join their Facebook community. And then here's where you adjust your profile settings, and this is where you can log out. So anyway, that is the basics behind um, Content Gorilla AI. So if it looks like something that you're interested in or you're interested in my hand-picked bonuses, all you got to do is click the link down below this video, go to my bonus page, push the button on my bonus page, purchase the program, then you'll get access to Content Gorilla AI and my hand-picked bonuses. And if you like my videos, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, push that notification bell, and make a comment. Thank you for watching. Stay safe. I'll see you next time. Hey, it's Aizal. And in this video, I'm going to show you how Content Gorilla AI works. See, it's coming up to almost three years since we released Content Gorilla. And with over 9,000 users, this time, Content Gorilla goes artificial intelligent. Now, the basic idea behind Content Gorilla has always been the ability to take a YouTube video and convert it into a blog post. With the AI version, we have maximized that. And I'm going to show you that right now how. See, in the inside the Content Gorilla dashboard, you can come and search for literally any niche, any keyword, and it's going to fetch results from YouTube and give you related content. Now, let's say I want to write something about NFTs and let's say I want it to be a Gary V video right let's just go ahead and search that uh, let's say I'm gonna go with this one and in this one click content gorilla converts this video into a blog post that is ready to go as is and since it's converted from YouTube videos the plagiarism level on this thing is there's a very low chance that it's even plagiarized, right? But the the amazing thing about the artificial intelligence system that we have just introduced is the fact that you can either completely or partially rephrase this and you can even write content even in the voice of Gary V himself in just one click. Let me show you how that works. So let's say, let's just, you know, make it look a bit neater. Let's give this a tune tag. Let's, let's write, let's ask the let's ask the artificial intelligent engine what an nft is and to do that all i have to do is select this particular selection and as you can see this tooltip appears you click on the right content for me and here, here's the best part see you just you can either explain this professionally in a casual tone or you can even specify who's voice you want this content written in and in that what what happens is it gives you the ability to completely match whatever is being said in your videos and i'm going to show you that in just a second but let's go ahead and say that i want this content to be in a gary vaynerchuk's voice right let's go ahead and submit that now how this artificial intelligent engine works is it has consumed 10% of the entire internet, right? So it knows a lot about a lot of people. So anyone who is kind of famous, this engine can easily write about them, about in, in the voice basically, right? And as you can see, it just generated me a few words and and, and like, it's completely going to be in the voice of Gary V, right? So that's that's the coolest part about it.
But let's say that I don't want the content to be in Gary V's voice. So let's say I want uh, to write a little bit about about it in someone else's voice, say Will Smith perhaps. I'm gonna type whatever I want to run inside, you know, whatever I want the AI engine to write for me about, and we're just gonna go ahead and tell it to write it in perhaps Will Smith's voice. And as you'll see, the voice that they're now using is that the artificial intelligence now uses is Will Smith's. In fact, let me let me actually show you something amazing, right? Let's go ahead and um, say ask it to write in Ryan Reynolds' voice. And for those of you that are not aware of who Ryan Reynolds is, he's the actor that plays Deadpool, so he's very um, sort of humorous, right? And <laughs> now look at this. Now what it wrote was in my own brain. So for the people that don't know what NFTs are, right? Non-fungible tokens. These are one of the great parts about the whole crypto space, the blockchain space. Satoshi's white paper is that it was first data signature that you couldn't counterfeit. So think about what that means. You could make digital art that no one can counterfeit. So all of a sudden, art gets its value from scarcity. And so the block blockchain allows you to do that. So now you we're going to see artists for the first time ever create art digitally. The great artists, they never did before. So you're going to sell the digital art. You're going to actually take your phone. You're going to buy it. It's going to go on your phone. You're going to walk home and you're going to throw it up on a giant screen. And you're like, that's mine. So just notice how the tone changed, right? And like, this definitely seems like something Ryan Reynolds would say, because considering how non-serious of an attitude he has. So that's the good part about the AI. It will actually write in anyone famous that you specify in their particular tune. And that's, that's just the very basic level. The, opportunities here are endless you can inarguably do things that you could never do before right and this is just one part perhaps the biggest part of content gorilla ai there are, there's going to be more about it on the when you scroll down below on a space but i think you get the entire idea right so to, to create an article that is completely unique, is originally inspired, and then written in someone who is very famous in in their voice, basically. That is all that you can do with Content Gorilla AI at its very basic level. Now, once you have your, this article ready, you can go ahead and, you know, do all sorts of amazing things with it. Like, you can add headlines, you can, um, you know, do all of the traditional stuff that you can do in a, in any editor then you can even save this as a draft and come back to this post later to you know make it refine it more you can copy this to clipboard and take it over anywhere you want you can download it in either text format or a pdf format and publish it anywhere you like you can also add images from our inbuilt image search right this uses basically um pixels as the which is inarguably the biggest picture the image stock photo library and as you can see even the images are related it has this gary v wallpaper right so yeah that's what you can do at the very basic level plus we have a whole host of amazing features like keyword auto hyperlink, which allows you to hyperlink a particular keyword on your entire website. Then you can come here and change the featured image. By default, we use the thumbnail image. Then you can add your own tags and stuff to it to you know, help Google rankings. And then syndication, you can basically syndicate your posts onto your Facebook pages and groups in just a you know, by just checking this box. And then finally, you can publish your blog post onto 
your WordPress website in just one click and it automatically gets syndicated onto your social media channels with the link so that really helps with social media rankings as well so that's pretty much how content gorilla ai works and that's what we do at the very core now there's going to be a complete feature by feature breakdown below on this page so make sure you scroll through and see everything about content Google and everything that is new in this version and i'm going to see you on the inside hey it's Ishlal, and in this video i'm going to show you content gorillas all new artificial intelligent engine in action now at the very basic level what it can do for you is it can create content and it can paraphrase your content so let me just quickly show you um, the paraphrasing feature first now as you can see uh, it says today I'm going to share seven data marketing strategies that I have personally used and gotten results with and if there's only one thing that you take away from this video is to not try all of these at once instead pick one of these strategies experiment and master the channel before moving on to the next let's get to it let's let's just let's just say uh, I want to only you know use this much and in just one click the artificial intelligent engine will completely paraphrase this form and you can see now it says in this video i'll be sharing seven other marketing strategies that have worked for me in the past some of these strategies may be new to you while others may be strategies you have tried in the past and did not see the same results the most important thing to remember is to experiment and find what works best for your business as you can see completely rephrased completely unique and makes 100 percent sense it's not gibberish like a content spinner would return you right now that's the paraphrasing feature now let's go ahead and ask it to sort of write about something like say you know expand on this particular thing so I'll, what i'll do is i'll just select this area and then click on the right content button for me and then I will just ask it to professionally expand it. I can also choose the casual tone or I can specify if I want it to be in the voice of a particular person and I'm going to show that in just a second but let's just go with a professional expansion of this particular um, sentence. Now as you can see it completely expanded that piece of that one line into three paragraphs. What this means is that we pay more attention to the content that is already out there than we do to creating new content. We rely on opinions, research, and that, that. And as you can see, the quality here, the the quality here is absolutely amazing. Like this is exactly how a human would write it. And the way, the reason this engine is so smart is because it has consumed ten percent of the entire internet, right? So it's it's very smart. And this is not an if then statement this is true artificial intelligence now let's say that i want to um write a little bit about something in a particular person's um voice and um well it's sort of talking about seo here so let's just say let's just say let's just ask the engine to write about this and uh, let's say i want it to be in the voice of neil patel and if for those of you that don't know neil patel is a um uh, one of the very famous bloggers who writes a lot about seo and all of that you know so now the engine goes in writes about it in the voice of neil patel and for th those of you that are aware of how he speaks you can actually go and you know sort of compare it and you'll see that it is actually um the content is written in such a way that you could assume him speaking the similar way and and obviously very high quality content that like no plagiarism completely unique and so well written right so that's how powerful content gorillas artificial intelligent engine is and it's it's, it's a big break, breakthrough and um you know definitely something that we have worked very hard to involve inside the content gorilla app so if you want to get the best possible deal 
please check out the link below.